Howdy folks, I'm Keith Bowen. This is Hard Rock University. And what I'm doing here is creating a tailings disposal area so that as we mill our material, we can stack them somewhere, recover all the solutions, and recover the tailings later in case we have to put them back in the mine because of the heavy metal content or anything else. Whatever it is, this way we'll be completely uh, isolated from the environment. Now, this is the eventual area that I have planned to be uh, uh, covered. I'm not going to do it all at once. First, I got to get all the vegetation off it. I got to get all the vegetation off. Then I got to dig in the middle and throw up berms on the sides. So I got a lot of work ahead of me. But let me get going on this and show you the various stages as it happens. So he started clearing off the vegetable matter. Uh, you can't use grass and pine needles and stuff to build with. They won't compact, they got no strength, they decay and sag. So the first thing I do is slice off this layer of vegetation. What I'm doing is taking the mattock and making a very shallow slice like this and it right here I got pine needles so I'm just kind of following the bottom of the layer of pine needles and slicing it all up and off of the dirt taking any roots and grass with it see how few little things in there and then once I get past the pine needles then I start getting into the grass over here do the same thing but it'll be a little bit of a shallower slice and uh, that will allow me to get good usable dirt to build my pad out of. Then I come in, throw this in the wheelbarrow, and dump it in the pile. By doing this, take about a two foot wide slice off of the whole thing about every, I don't know, 20, 30 minutes. So, sun's going down in four hours and uh, got everything cleared except for that last little strip. So, that's the end of day one. On with the program. Alrighty, so here it is the next day. We finished clearing the vegetation. Now, in order to figure out what we're going to do, I'm going to shoot grades. We have two sticks or walking sticks. A little while back, you may have noticed that I put colored tape on it. This is why. Eva will walk around, and as she puts it on the ground, I can tell how much difference there is in elevation. These are six inches apart. This has a little sight a level right there, and you see through it, and so you're looking at two things. One, you're seeing a bubble level and the distance all at the same time. So let's go and shoot some grades, little one. Next 
first one? So now I have a series of grades relative to the center endpoint, which was my target zero. It all looks pretty good, should be pretty easy to make it do what I want it to do. So now we will get started on that. Okay, so from that corner pin there to this rock, along this row, that corner pin and back, that should be the actual pad surface. It'll be surrounded by berms and we have a 20 by 30 foot tarp so if we had a cross section coming through here it would look about like that. There's a berm, there's your pad, there's the other berm, and there's the 20 foot mark. So that tells me what I need to know in terms of where the berms are going to go, etc. Now it's time to start roughing it in. Okay, here's the beginning of day three. I've got it shaved down to basically the grade, not the grade, the contour that we want. And now I have to shave it down further to get the dirt to build the berms. Once I get the finished shape and the berms, I'll lay out the plastic, make sure it's good, then do the finished compacting and get it done. So, here we are at the end of the third day. We're doing pretty good. Get the berm finished to there. We have more dirt on this side and less berm to build than we did on this side. So that should give me what I need at the end, because that'll be the highest berm. And uh, we'll just take however much material there is there and distribute it properly, you know, evenly, and keep the top of the berm at an even elevation so when it rains it'll capture all the rain and won't overrun. And this will be where we'll take our uh, tailings, set them, drain them, rinse them, recover our chemicals, and whatever residual gold is left in them. Back tomorrow with the final earthwork, and maybe we'll even be stretching some plastic. Okay. And here we are, the end of the fourth half shift of construction basically built. I have to do a final finish work and then start laying the plastic. So we smoothed out everything. We started laying geotextile to protect our containment plastic. To save a little on geotextile, especially as it comes in a particular size roll, it was a 60 foot roll wouldn't have to do this, but I do that, tie it down, then get the scrape. fabric's job is just to protect the plastic from anything sharp. Ugh. As you can tell, the weather has changed a bit. So we're now 
kind of rushing it to beat the rain. I'd like to get all the plastic in today because if it rains hard, we don't want to have a mud puddle. Well, as you folks may have noticed, it has gotten a little damp out here. So we had to expedite things a little. My original plan was to dig the trench first. Unfortunately, the rain showed up. So we had to waterproof the pond first. So, now that that's safe, I'll get the edge tied in. out there keep it from billowing up in the wind but by the end of the day they should be pretty well tied down and then we'll get to the rest of it on Tuesday so from beautiful sunny Montana happy prospecting and keep it safe out there <laughs> 